So here's something I thought you might like to see. Every, uh, when we buy a, a big old bunch of cars, I take pictures of all of them. Because I buy for certain guys um, in different countries. I, I've told you this story before. That's one of the ways we, we pay for the hobby. And so I try to buy them at, at a uh, discount price. And then I sell them for usually a dollar and then a 60 cents finder fee on top of it. If you live in another country where they don't really import Hot Wheels very much, well that's a pretty good deal because you're probably paying somewhere around three to five dollars a piece for Hot Wheels and if you can get them for you know what ends up being about two dollars a piece it's a great deal. So I take pictures of all these and then I throw them in a Dropbox folder and then the guys pick through them and then they they tell me which ones they want. So that's pretty normal. We've been doing that for a lot of years. However, when we get cars in, I'm like everybody else. Sorry about that, couldn't get my tripod set. I'm like everybody else in that I have my favorites that I don't want anybody to buy from me, or at least until I find a double of them. And so I was just going through and I took out the ones that I want, and it dawned on me that probably nobody else really wants these anyways. So I thought I would show you the ones that I picked out that I'm keeping, and it will show you my tastes. I was very scared anybody might take these. I'm gonna zoom in on them. And obviously what really attracts me to some of these are the, uh, the detail work, the artwork on them, not the car itself. So the Flying Aces series, I don't have this one. Uh, that's one of my favorite series of all time. Here's another Flying Aces series. I don't have this one. Look at the, decal, the detail work though on these. And honestly, the cars that go first are going to be the exotics, the trucks, not these mostly fantasy cars. So nobody would buy these from me anyways. <laughs> but uh, Crazed Clowns, you guys know I love me the Crazed Clown series. Might be my favorite series of all time. There's a Batman one that I kept. Yeah, these fantasy type cars and the uh like the entertainment based cars they don't for me they don't sell well at all for the guys that i buy for they're after real cars i got this one for those co co molded tires i wanted to keep that one for a future show we'll talk about the different tires sometime in the future i got me another one of these if you remember andrew snagged mine in the last mystery box downhill race i think it either won or finished second so i got me another one of those it's also the crazed clown series can't beat that. Fast car with crazed clowns on it. I'm not giving that to anybody. <laughs> One of my favorite castings, probably the best looking of this casting. Look at that. There's crazy stuff on them. I love when they really make these like little pieces of art with the detail work. And I know a lot of my viewers just aren't into that. It actually kind of turns them off. They want the real looking cars. I totally get that. I mean, that's kind of what this the collector hobby is is based around. But for me, what I'm really after are these the art piece of it. You know, my background's in art, and I do digital art for the most part now. And so I totally appreciate the the creativeness that goes into the designers coming up with this crazy stuff. This is the Wastelander series. And I think I have all of these, but I probably pick them up every single time I see them. Here's another one. Just one of the best series for flame tampos that you'll ever find, if you're into that kind of thing. And I was afraid somebody would take my Wastelanders. They really wouldn't. The guys I buy for Moods and Jose, Jim, all over the world, Egypt, Brazil, Germany, they, uh, they wouldn't be interested in these. I say that now. What I'm going to get is they're all going to want them because <laughs> I said that. Sometimes they'll go through the videos and they'll do screen grabs of the cars they want. And, uh, and I say, no, I think it catches them off guard anytime I say I'm keeping anything. I know Moods would want this one. I bet he really wants that one. He's going to want me to find another one of that. I thought about it, but I didn't want to give it up. For no other reason than it's an ambulance. <laughs> 
Here's the pirate series. I mean, you know, you put a big old pirate on the side of your shoebox there. That's just crazy. Boulevard Buccaneers, I guess we should get the name right. I think I have some of these, but I'm going to keep these until I'm sure. That one's got a treasure map on the top. When I was a kid, these are the cars I was really attracted to. I really like the over-the-top graphics. I don't know that I can blame it for getting me into art, but it didn't hurt. This is the Dragon Wagon series. Really great example of what they could do with the D or the Tampa work, I guess we should call it. Um, when you know when they really get turned loose. Here's one from the anime series. I did get two of these. So one of them will be up for trade, but no one's going to want it. I just wanted to show you because I was staring at these thinking, what am I even putting these aside for? None of these guys are going to want them. Here's another one from the Dragon series. None of them, they're not going to want these cars. They might want that one. That one's a Toyota Celica. But usually, usually they turn them down. They want cars like, here, I'll show you what. Oh, now I can't find them. Here you go. The Olds, the Mustangs. These are the type of cars that will go pretty quick. So, just wanted to share that with you. We'll get back to the show. Uh, this first one is the Scupa de Fuego. And that is the Mexicana de Football Association car and I believe these were available through um, was it Rite Aid or CVS or something like that um, about six months ago I got these at the Mattel outlet that we have here close to us so next up these guys we found some more Demolition Man cars and we just posted this video it might be the video right before this one uh, I found these at the Riverside Hot Wheels show that I went to. Waited for the price to come down on them. They were not real high on my list to get, but I'm missing three of them, and I got two more, if you remember, from our video. The cars on the back are not the cars that are in the set. Kind of strange. Those cars have nothing to do with the set. Those might have been the original cars they were going to put in the set, but those are not the cars in the set. It does not say anything about what cars are in the set, but I believe there's nine. And they come in their cryo tubes from Demolition Man. Whoops, the movie. Got my my uh, tripod there. There is the car, Demolition Man. Oh, I wouldn't say these are hard to find, but I don't think they were highly collectible either. This one is the Oldsmobile Aurora. We're going to be taking that one out and taking a closer look later in the video. Next up, we've got the Pontiac Banshee. I uh, did not have this one either. Again, from Demolition Man. We'll take a look at that one. That one has some very cool rims on it. Different than we usually see. Next up, we've got some mystery cars, and these I also got at the Mattel outlet. Uh, what is this guy? This guy is the Anthracite. That is one of the mystery models, Hot Wheels mystery models. We did not have that one. They are not much of a mystery. That O2 right there, as most of you know, lines up with... O2 on the back, Athrodite or Athrocyte, whatever it is. <laughs> there it is. So they were really not much of a mystery model. We'll take a little bit closer look at him in a minute. We also got the, what is this guy? He is the Slit Back. And he is very slicked back. It's got some real interesting pipes on that thing. <laughs> That's the slicked back. So two mystery models we picked up. We did a video on those already, but those guys came along later. Next up we've got SpongeBob SquarePants, and if you have been watching you know we just did a SpongeBob SquarePants uh, entertainment series video. I had totally forgotten I had these. And I was waiting for them to come out and do them all at the same time, and then I didn't. So these cars could have swam around on Bikini Bottom. 
Yeah, it even came with a boat. That would have been better. But as our production usually goes around here, well, we didn't get to it. We'll take a look at those in a minute. We're going to get these over on the green screen and take a look at them. We'll take them all out of the package. We do have the Batman series. This is from Matchbox. We're lucky we have a Mattel outlet here, so we don't go a lot. We go maybe twice a year, but uh, we got there and everything was 50% off, and some of these were already marked down, so these came out to be less than a buck a car by the time we're done. I really like that one right there. So we will take a look at those. We also have some 10 packs. And I think what we're going to do with these 10 packs, since this is, I guess you could call this an exclusive car video, we've got 10 packs there to take a look at. That one's going to fall. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. We've got some 10 packs we can take a look at, and we also have some more cars here. So we will take a look at all those too. Um, Let's take a look real quick at these packs. I only have a few notes on them that I wanted to share. Let me get my camera down here. I'll put some of these other 10-pack cars here in the front. So, everyone knows about the 10-packs. You can find these at any of the major stores that carry Hot Wheels. 10 packs always come with, I'm calling them 10 packs, that's totally wrong. They're nine packs, I, they used to be 10 packs. <laughs> They're nine packs, and uh, they always come with exclusive decoration cars. So these are exclusive to the nine packs. Also, and recently more so than in the past, they've had more exclusive colored cars those cars are considered to come in multi-packs, so you may not find them just in the nine packs. You might find them in the three packs or the five packs. And on top of it, we never really know which cars are going to be released in the future. So some of these cars could show up a year from now. They could show up in next year's um, lineup. They usually don't, but stranger things have happened. So in this particular pack, we have the jaded, this kind of, I think it's kind of ugly, but this, this pink, purple, and orange jaded with the green tires. That one's only in multi-packs right now. The Monoposto right there, that blue one, is only in multi-packs right now. The Ford Shelby GT500 that's in there, you can only find in multi-packs. The Copo Cavero, Copo, <laughs> the, let's start that over. The Copo Corvette is in multi-packs only. The Nova uh, over here is in multi-packs only. The Torino, which is the reason I got this particular one, uh, is in multi-packs only. Yeah, for Torino. And that Mercury Cyclone is in, Merc is in um, multi-packs. So the Torino and the Cyclone here are in multi-packs only. Interesting that they'd have a Torino and a Cyclone in the same, in the exact. All right, the next one is this guy here. Again, we're gonna take a look at all these cars a little closer, plus I have a few others from multi-packs. But like I said, we already did the video on these, so I wanted to still show them. Uh, some cars in here that are only in multi-packs. And you might be asking, are they rarer in multi-packs than in the main lines? Eh, probably. Um, that's if they don't release them again down the line. The multi-packs do sell quite a bit. At least I see them move through uh, Walmart pretty quickly. So most of these cars, I don't know, they're probably about online with the treasure hunts. As far as how rare they are, the treasure hunts really aren't that rare. There's probably more of these particular cars than the treasure hunts, but they aren't rare by any means. Um, the Shelby is the exclusive decoration for the nine packs. They release about, oh, I want to say maybe eight of these a year. I don't really know how many they put out. They, uh, I'm going to guess higher than that, maybe 12 a year. And um, they usually come out at about three at a time. So two or three different exclusives at a time. The Torque, Torque Twister here. 
uh, this one. He is from the main lines, so he is not from multi-packs. The Corvette, Corvette ZR1 that's in there is only in the multi-packs. The 16 Angels, that's this fantasy car up here with the big 16 on it, he is only in multi-packs. The Infinity, which is the darker red G37, is only in multi-packs right here. Um, the Ranchero, only in multi-packs, that purple one. And the Fig Rig came from the main lines, this uh, really ugly colored green, every color under the rainbow car over there. <laughs> the Honda 52000 in burnt orange is uh, also only in multi-packs. So, again, lots of cars only in those multi-packs. Makes them kind of fun. Having trouble getting this one up, I'm going to use my slicked back here as a, uh, as a prop up. It, it finally has a purpose in life now. Okay, this one, that's Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, which is the white one up there in the top right. That guy is your exclusive decoration for this multi-pack. The Challenger, 1970 Challenger that's in there, he is only in multi-packs. The AAR Kudo, which is why I picked this one up. That is that purple one. He is actually from the main lines. The Bentley Super Sport, he is from the main lines that's in there. That's the red one right above the Kuda. The Athrasite, we've already seen him. Uh, this one is different than this one. See, they are the same car, but that one there is only in multi-packs. The Datsun 620. He is from the main lines that's in there, that pickup truck. Uh, we saw him a few months ago. The Pontiac GTO, the 389, I believe that's a 389. He is only in the multi-packs. And our Shark Cruiser that in, is in there, he is from the main lines. So most of the time you're getting one exclusive, about three to four cars that are um, in multi-packs only, at least right now and then you're getting some main lines mixed in. So also all these are different. So you'll always get the same exclusive decoration and usually you'll get the same um, cars that are exclusive to multi-packs in here, but then they shift around the main line cars a little bit.